Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash? Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you because it is not fun for me? Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be big. Good Good time. Time. Let's all go together. I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors, like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? Wow, what the? 
this ottoman. Could use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. Hey! <laughs> not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> This is a mess. Is that a bone? Ugh. Sam, what are you eating? No, no! It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No oh, way, it's too tight. I need bathroom! 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 Stop! You can't fit in there! No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! Oh. <coughs> You know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait, this is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't, it's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great, you can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Some privacy. <laughs> Go take a hike. No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't. 
can't just go out in the open like this. I can't do this to food. No. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice. I can't hold it anymore. Wash? Washington? What, what are you doing, boy? Just look at that. That's amazing. This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? <sighs> I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Did I see something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Funny humor is my strong point. <sighs> Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. Ha! Flowers? That is, like, so tacky. Huh? Ha! Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. Angelica. <laughs> Here, Brigitte, this is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam, but uh, 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 I do. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Oh, why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. No, stop it. You're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. <laughs> <Huh>? Got you. 
Mr. was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him? Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Yeah. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. Gosh, she likes me, she likes yeah. me. Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living stones to send us back to the forest? I remind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it. And that's also why we wear costumes! In the forest, you can say farewell to Kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us. And you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet, no? Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful. Not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. You just wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha, ha. Another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. Yo, why should I? Coming, Eugenie. If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. <laughs> Ta-da! It's me, Sam. Uh -huh. 100% wild boar. 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how marvelous. Sam. The lovebirds may now be seated. Pull out the chair for her. What? <laughs> You're not going to pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> No, of course not. 21 peace dots in half an hour, Wash? This is kind of worrisome. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Yeah, uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, Wash. Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro. <laughs> A wild boar! Go on, feed it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off, Brigitte! Yeah. Uh. Brigitte! Come back here! Brigitte! No, my boss! We stole for time! Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig, after all. Sir, what a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just uh, taking a bath. In fact, I'm gonna go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've gotta get Sam his costume right away. Otherwise, he won't be able to come home. But, but this is horrible. We're certainly not going to leave. 
live here. Mm. Well, why not? Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. for birds. We... I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking yeah. for? Thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because otherwise things are going to really heat up for Mr. Livingstone. Your owner's already yeah. there. Just one last thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Hmm? Ah, sweetheart's little secrets. Okay, so listen. You and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. In fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. That would be so much easier if we use the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to wash. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild ones. I want to see my Brigitte. Brigitte. Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. <clears throat> you gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! doing? Your humans are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? 
There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of royal kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are, how can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Oh, come on. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. Oh. 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 What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me. Royal Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and legs. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Dog, wash we, I mean, you are gonna win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three hour nap. See, Wash, when you become the new Royal Kibble King, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the Royal Kibble King? That's right, I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it zipped. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me... The vet wants to examine my teeth? But... But what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The king! 
show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the ten best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right. Well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash. I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll... we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This box uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog! <laughs> Has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Ah! A wild boar! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and dogs, it has just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! <laughs> Washington is in the house! Owl! A terrific meet! Meet you for Sam! Who cares about competing? Let's get down and pull the... I won! I won! I never win anything! Royal Kibble! Because this dog is king! An entire year of Royal Kibble just for dancing in a commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Blip, blip. I said you want ham, 
Papa say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Say you want ham. Say you want lunch. There's only one name. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second rule. <laughs> Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat, but a big fat boar. <laughs> you guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. Enunciate! Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. <laughs> well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam, I'm going to get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Ree, ree. Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, <laughs> you! Meow. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute, I've got something for you. Wow, Sam, you look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only, only one name, name that's honey, honey bunch. Come here, honey bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <laughs> here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. Enjoy! You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? This is great! Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. This was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh, honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? What the? Say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Yes! yes. Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Whoa, man! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Sam! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. <laughs> Pastor Sam, faster. Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus. No, no, Sam. No, Sam. Faster. She's gaining on us. This is our chance. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, you're a genius. Uh, really? <laughs> there you are. Meow. <laughs> Just a big alley cat. Oh. Honey bunch? <laughs> a fox? <gasps> Stay away, varmint. Stay away. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Wash. I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home! Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you, you stink! Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Huh? Yeah! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, hut hut, everybody out. Boy, how annoying, just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch. Gotcha, Sam. Well, you were saying, Washington? No, I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvi! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say, you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there, and besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is the other way! <laughs> Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. <clears throat> Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. 
What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. <laughs> uh, okay. How? Huh? Just look for a cable and pull on it. <laughs> have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. <laughs> From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, nine hundred and ninety-nine, one thousand! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh-huh! Just what I thought! It's, uh, not the way it looks. Perfect! Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers! will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hmm? Uh-oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! Yeah. Ah. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. 
I didn't my understand what went wrong. Maybe a big out. greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? Mm. Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, whoa! Wash? It's about time. <laughs> Ah! Oh no! Something's happened to my husband! Ah! Out of here! Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day! The pleasure was all ours! And thank you again, honey! You really saved us! It's Washington who saved you! Ouch! <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog! Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours! <sighs> this is one TV binge we definitely deserved! I will admit that, just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam! Mm -hmm. Where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? Hmm. See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure there was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. <laughs> you won't catch me! You won't catch me! It wasn't kibble. And to think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Whoa! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Hmm. 
squash? Come on, we'll do a test on Fat Cat. Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam. Run! <laughs> You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! Absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam? Sammy? Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error. Unknown Maybe species. it's some species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is the Ooh. chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. Oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sam's been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not oh. if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Quirky Jamie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. 
We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! 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 Two one-way sides? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! Yes, 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 yes. It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that <laughs> way. Huh? He looks kinda angry. Do you hear the noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Hmm? Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice Purr! recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <gasps> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> no, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat. It's not a cat. Look at the hair test results. Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Error, huh? error, error. Uh, uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Concerning their whereabouts, please contact your local precinct. Ha! Ah, 
Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! Super, super mask! Super mask! Super mask! <laughs> A fox always lands on his paws. Quick! It's time! Super mask! Super mask! Super mask! time favorite show. Super Mask is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my Super Claw. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nap. Oh! <laughs> Anybody have a bandage? How are we gonna watch our show now? I really wanted to see this one too. I've only seen it seven times. My friends, would Supermask ever back down from the enemy? Never. Never. And would Supermask back down from a little cat claw? Never. Uh, maybe. Great. Here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Doctor Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey, why that's a super yeah. mask. Ooh, super? Super? <gasps> super mask! <gasps> you guys look like real superheroes! Even better than on TV! Yup! And with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals! Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes. And what we're gonna do is pig out on pizza. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of saving the world, like Supermask. Hmm? No, okay. Pizza after. <laughs> yeah. A mission for <laughs> the masked fox. <laughs> <laughs> My balloon. <laughs> this is a mission for Captain Blackbird. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who turned off all the lights? Oh, it was me. <laughs>
I was sure I hid them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. Oh! The police! Quick, hide! Move, Big Bud, I can't breathe. Hurry up! Oh, sorry. Wash? Sam? Is that huh? you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woof, woof. Yo. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties! Wow! Something worse than prison food! This kid was actually pretty good! We got work to do! Eat later! Feel the wind on your fur! Oh, the joy of being costume free! Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster! We've got you this time! Change your plans, guys. Right for your life! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo! So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no! The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. <laughs> The real burglars, disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house. <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Help! Thieves! Hey, Vic! It's us! What proves it to you? Can't you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? Ah! Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No, first we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> It's coming from the kitchen. Are you? Our costumes, mm. quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police. As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news! Infamous burglars Edgar and Marty were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. Well, <laughs> 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 
You're not coming, Wash? Phew! Being a superhero is exhausting. I gotta rest. <sighs> More for me. And that is how the Masked Fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Super Mask! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See, Washington? Like this! Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. No. What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it. You're... Okay, maybe not. No. Uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. <gasps> After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. This is an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? Washington! Wash, if only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That 
That's what I was gonna say. We can ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of yeah something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes. A dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we work. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left, right and left, right and left. I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry, you're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! Oh. I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Ah, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! is getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll all oh, no. go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You can whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. 
For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <sighs> the elves don't care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Ah! Hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Ah, 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 ah. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Yay! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but paws off. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Taste <of> what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Beck. We're talking about it. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's like so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 No! It's 
Victoria ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Me <laughs> Louder! Me Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? No time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for Cat versus Cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. <laughs> I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out. Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Hey, listen to me, no, Sam! Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? Nah, <laughs> no one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. <laughs> Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! <laughs> that was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Try and do like me. Meow. Okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. Whoa! Now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa! If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course. Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. 
I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> for the final! Yeah! Yeah! This victory is the victory of teamwork! Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! The finalist for the last round of Cat vs. Cat runs the rain. We're gonna win for sure! Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? <laughs> Time out! Time out! 30 seconds time out! We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden bow? Hey, Victoria. Can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Victoria, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in, in the, the Shower, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing. 
that's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yay, 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 yay. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Woohoo! Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest. Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, Daisy. what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. <laughs> I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. Dolphin, breakfast is cold. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away, and every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Levingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No, that's a lion. I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't 
tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play? Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go. Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no! Eugenie! And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest! How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant! <laughs> what? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! Eugenie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. <laughs> so cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary. But what in the world is this bizarre specimen? Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey, why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Uh, uh, are you sure? It's our only chance. Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? Uh -huh. I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? <laughs> Now 
not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fug in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. La, 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 la. <laughs>